And thanks for staying with us here on Morning Live. Now, the National Energy Regulator of South Africa, or NERSA, is currently facilitating a three-day workshop bringing heads together in a bid to understand how to fix the country's electricity problems. Now, the purpose of the workshop is to engage external stakeholders to give input towards a strategic planning program to meet both the demand and supply of electricity as a crucial resource for households, employment and economic growth in South Africa. And in yesterday's session, speakers warned of a growing electricity cost and that tariffs uh, have become unreasonably high and the situation could get to a point of being unmanageable. Ntlantla Kumete, who is the regulator responsible for electricity regulation at NERSA, joins us now. Mr. Kumete, thanks for your time. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you, Sakina. So firstly, um, who were the invitees um, who uh, got to participate in this particular workshop? Oh, Sakina, actually what we wanted to do was to engage as widely as possible. In fact, we, we would have preferred to have had more consumers uh, of, of electricity uh, or buyers of electricity participating but of course, we wanted to also have uh, to, to give an opportunity to people who are, who are supplying or producing electricity, as well as all of the other uh, players in that industry, uh, the investors, um, the, the, the people who actually make money available and things like that. But um, so basically, we had invited anybody who has got any interest in electricity. Mm. Uh, but, but, but how was that process facilitated? Because uh, looking at what transpired yesterday, the workshop took on, um, at least from an onlooker's perspective, more of a business tone. It sounded more like a meeting of companies with vested interests making uh, presentations. How uh, would you say the voice of the ordinary South African who is affected by all of this and adversely affected by it all, how was that represented? <laughs> So, you know, it is a challenge that, as part of this strategic plan that we are engaging on, it's a challenge that we're aiming to, to address. Firstly, I think the, the, the whole purpose of why a government interferes in a space like this is, is actually fairly lost. Because, in fact, government interferes, uh, that is, it controls entry and sets prices on behalf of consumers, uh, on behalf of, of, the, of, of the economy. Unfortunately, though, for some reason, in the whole of the energy space, the voice of the people that are supposed to be represented tends not to be heard. Partly because, I guess, you know, with, with suppliers, they, are, they tend to be organized. Uh, you would have an, an independent IPP association, you would have ESCOM is a very large entity and so forth. But you and I, as consumers, we tend to be fairly fragmented, and therefore our voice our voice is lost in this, in this noise, which is a challenge. So part of this strategic process is saying, how do we improve that? Because clearly we're losing valuable input because the people that we are supposed to be, on behalf of which we are supposed to be regulating, their voice is not heard. So how and as they say... So, okay. And, uh, apologies, uh, I thought you had mm. uh, completed your expression there. But I wanted to ask, mm. so, so how then do you compensate for that? How then do you make sure that the voice of the ordinary consumer is in fact taken into consideration by the end of your three-day workshop? Well, we, we have um, requested written input. But again, it, we tend to talk to the people that have always been speaking to us. And as you know, this, uh, this environment has got a lot of lobbies. So you've got lots of lobby groups. Those are fairly well organized. You've got suppliers that are very well organized. But when it comes to consumers, ideally what we should be coming up with is study groups, where we should be going into um, deep into um, uh, Umlazi, into Soweto, and actually forming joining study groups but i guess for this particular for this particular session because I, again this is an extraordinary uh, uh, consultation in that we've integrated we've introduced into into our internal process because the, the strategy here is about is the strategy of how nasa should should structure itself to what nasa should focus on and and so forth in respect as you know we are a small cog 
um, in this uh, in this in, in this energy in this electricity space. But I guess an important cog. But the question is, what role should we be playing? We should be talking to the people themselves who would say, Nessa, this is what we expect of you. But we thought to introduce this in this program of how we, we structure ourselves. So because of, because of the short timeline, we're not going to be able to effectively go down into, in, into, into uh, and actually meet up with the people. But going forward, the idea here is that if we structure ourselves properly as NASA, we should be able to have the study groups and engage with consumers directly where they are, not to expect consumers to come to us, but for us to go to them. But for us to be able to do that, we need to structure ourselves properly. We need to also fund those because that comes at a cost. We need to be able to fund it properly. And, 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 and therefore, I guess for this particular session, um, uh, uh, Sakina, not as, as well as I, I, I would have wished to would have been able to engage with those consumers. Mm. And I, I don't necessarily want to belabor that point. I think um, the point has been made and it is now a challenge to you to make sure as NERSA that you in fact do set up those mechanisms, the systems, so that you speak to uh, consumers who are directly affected. Um, but let me get on to other matters now. A question was asked about what exactly needs to be fixed. So what are your stakeholders saying? What is it that needs to be fixed? I'm glad to ask questions, Akina, because the issue here is that, you know, when we, when we look at life, most, most of us tend to believe that life is a continuation of the past. South Africa energy landscape has changed. It's changing fundamentally. And what, the, what, what our stakeholders, at least from the supply side, what they're saying is that, look, the... The, the traditional role that was played by one large utility, that role is changing. People are now, you now have what they call pro, um, prosumers, for instance, uh, producers that are consumers or consumers that are producers. Well, they've been around for a while, but I guess now it's going to get far more um, prevalent. Even you and I with a rooftop solar panel would be producing electricity for our own consumption, but we, we may have excess uh, electricity that we may want to sell into the grid. Now, um, but unfortunately, that comes with a whole lot of challenges in terms of quality of supply, in terms of the dependability of that supply, because if there's one central player, at least you know who to hold accountable. We now know that, for instance, with all of the load sharing now, there is only one big, big uh, bad boy, ESCO. But what happens now when we depend on each other, we, we, I, I depend on my neighbor to, to actually make electricity and he makes electricity from solar. And unfortunately, uh, it, it's raining like this in Gauteng and he's not making some. What then do I do? So it, it raises all sorts of questions. And the, it raises the question of how then do you control that environment? How, how do you make sure that there is security of supply? How do you plan for it? How do you... So it's, those are the questions that are emerging. And also saying... Yes, we've, we've traditionally had particular players that have yes, been buying electricity from ESCOM and selling it to us, but perhaps that, that, that has to change. So basically what you're saying, the, the, the world out there is changing. The, the South African energy landscape is changing. The question is how should therefore NASA change to be able to either facilitate the change and, and, and make the change to be properly introduced or to then respond to that change. Mm. Um, and of course, uh, you haven't been spared criticism. Um, I saw one of the speakers saying that uh, as the regulator, you've actually been protecting ESCOM and uh, the independent power producers are lamenting the ineffective regulation and also criticizing the integrated resource plan uh, which they say has been wrongfully drafted and has led to the use of wrong technologies, making electricity more expensive, disadvantaging the customer once more. Uh, what's your view on all of this? Well, firstly, we, we, we welcome the criticism because it's, um, um, it's, we, 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 we asked consumers, uh, we, the stakeholders, industry uh, stakeholders, to put a mirror in front of us and say, Nessa, this is how we look. In fact, NASA, this is what we expect you to be doing and we are not doing. And NASA, we are doing this and it's wrong and, and so forth. That's what, because then it's only then that we could change. But if you look at the criticism itself, I mean, 
you'll be surprised that our, the, our, our, the very ministry we actually um, uh, report to, the DMRE, has said to us, I mean, who are you guys regulating for? Are you just protecting ESCOM? It's been, and, or, or, or not just ESCOM, I guess, I protecting producers. And, 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 and that's been a criticism. And what we are now trying to say is the answer to that is no. But of course, we have a particular law that is written in a particular way. And also, you see, when it comes to producers, we, for instance, uh, ask for them for their costs. And then we, the, the law says we must compensate them for the cost that they've incurred. But we're supposed to, have a, a, to strike a fair balance between producers and consumers. But to, to have a fair balance, ideally what you should also be doing is going to the consumers and saying, can we understand your cost as well? So that as we strike this balance, as, as, as we determine a revenue or a price for the consumer, uh, for the suppliers, we understand what you can afford and actually it come up with an equilibrium. Unfortunately, we don't do that. Largely because, firstly, consumers, I'm afraid, also, you know, they have to come to the party here. Um, they, they have to su supply us with the information that we can use. They have to supply us with models uh, in terms of how energy uh, impacts on their profitability, on their competitiveness, on their, on the, on, on their affordability, on them affording uh, uh, electricity, so that we can incorporate it into our, uh, our, 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 our processes. But we take the, the, the criticism, Sakina, and even the criticism around uh, the, the development of the RP. Unfortunately, the RP is, 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 a, is a policy instrument. It's, it's government making choices. So government will, that, 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 that fortunately will always uh, remain with government because government unfortunately has to make very difficult choices. Sometimes, um, uh, balancing conflicting um, um, objectives. It's, it's, it's a very difficult balancing act. But we do take the, 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 we do take the criticism, Sakina, but, and we welcome even further criticism by writing from consumers who have not been able to come to, 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 to our workshop. Mm. Now, in an earlier response, Mr. Gumete, you said uh, ESCOM is the only bad boy here. But we know that the private sector, um, which is, all, is always driven by a profit imperative, um, they also are instrumental in pushing up <laughs> the cost of living and, bless you, uh, thereby burdening consumers, which uh, conversely affects economic participation by the public. Do your regulatory powers, the powers of NERSA, extend to the industry practices of the IPPs, for example? Well, unfortunately, again, that's, that's the challenge that comes in South Africa. You see, um, we, we always say when it comes to IPP, the, the, the role of the regulator is limited in the sense that what we say there is that the, the market, the price that emerges there is a market price. But the problem with that concept is that a market has buyers as well as got suppliers. That's, that's an effective market. So the extent to which government plays the role of the buyer or the procurer of power, we, you know, it, 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 it therefore says, how, how, does, how does the eventual buyer uh, engage with this process? How does he, how does, how does Sakina, um, who eventually has to buy this power, decide on whether they want to buy that power at that price or they would want to buy a different power? Somebody else decides on that basis. So what can we do as the regulator? Unfortunately, our, our powers in this particular case are fairly limited. However, the input from consumers, even in this regard, could well be used for us to, 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 to advocate a particular position for consumers with government. But again, it needs, it needs people participation for us to be able to do mm. that. But, but, but as acknowledged earlier, you haven't set up the platforms for people to meaningfully participate in these processes. Um, you have these IPPs that will be coming on stream. Some are already uh, on stream providing energy to the grid. And your powers uh, with regard to regulation in this instance are limited. So what is the Department of Minerals and Energy saying about this? Uh, are they participating in this particular workshop? 
They have been invited. However, remember uh, what they, because it's, uh, it's, it's meant to be an input into the regulator's strategic direction, they, they would want to say, regulator, you're an independent regulator, so we not want to be seen to be interfering with your processes, which is, which, is, which, which is good and fair. But the output of what comes out from what consumers are saying, clearly, some of, those, some, um, some of the input is directed at NASA itself and will, will, will try by all means to, to, to effect the changes that um, consumers are asking us or that stakeholders are asking us to effect within NASA. But some of the changes clearly would be related to, to, to government, its policy frameworks and things like that. We would then be able to communicate that message through to government. Some of it, of course, might require legislative changes and will also then would generally as NASA participate in those processes. So that's how we would be engaging with the, with the, with, 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 with the department going forward. Right, uh, we'll leave it there and hopefully we'll pick up again um, uh, maybe to uh, recap on what came out of the entirety of this particular workshop. But uh, this is where it's at. And thank you so much to Ntlantla Kumete from NERSA for talking thank to you. us about the current workshop taking place in order to find some solutions to the electricity problem in the country. Let's take a quick break before we take a quick look at, um, in fact, we, we, we straight...